Tanner Mordecai. I want to be careful here because I can say I'm not impressed by Tanner Mordecai, but I wasn't impressed by Brock Purdy, right? That's on the record. So what did Tanner, Tanner Mordecai do that was potentially nice? I'll just go through his, his throws. First pass, quick out to Mason Pline in the right flat for five yards. Quick, decisive, accurate. Next throw, quick out to Jacob Cowing, out uh, right flat, five yards. Quick, decisive, gets the ball out of his hands. Next play. Um, a quick throw to Cody Schrager in the right flat for five yards. Same pass. Quick, decisive, accurate. Next pass, throws the ball away while Pearsall's running a stutter go past Renardo Green. Might have been open. But, hey, made a decision, threw the ball away, whatever. Seven on seven, though. Like, why are you throwing the ball away? But whatever. Next one. He's got Pearsall open deep up the left side against zone, overthrows it. Flat trajectory. He's wide open. Next play. Throws to Garendo in the left flat. Excuse me, the right flat for a gain of five. Next play. Throws. Ooh. Throws to Pearsall on the left. Who drops the ball? That was a drop for Pearsall. It looked like a slant be was being covered by Dan Callis. So tried to fit that one in. I mean, so far he's completed out routes, quick outs, and swing routes. I mean, swings and outs. Cool. Like flare, not even an out. Like an out's a, a 12 yard route. I'm talking like little flare routes to the flat. Tried to throw the slant. That got broken up. Comes back to Garendo. Throws a little Texas route over the middle for five yards. That's over the middle. That's nice. Um, then comes back to 48. Who the hell is 48? I don't even know. For a check down over the middle. Like a tight end. And that's his day. That was it for Tanner Mordecai. I, being able to hit those quick short throws is important in this offense, obviously. You need to be able to hit that intermediate throw over the middle. Brock does it. Jimmy did it. If you can't hit that, you can't play quarterback for this team. So we'll see if Tanner can hit the 10 to 15 yard throw over the middle. He didn't today. He didn't really try many. Any. So he's a little bit of a longer release than Purdy. He's a stronger arm than Purdy. He has a flat deep ball. He's supposed to run a 4-3, but I mean a 4-5. But uh, you don't scramble in 7-on-7 seven because seven there's no pass rush. So eh. At least he was quick and decisive with the ball. I mean, sometimes you see a quarterback that literally doesn't know what they're doing or, or where to go. He knew where to go with the ball. He threw the ball away one time when he should have went deep, uh, frankly. And I don't know what to think. Did anyone else like him? Were people enamored? I was not. Minus Brock, this draft can't be worse than 2022. I feel it. Brother Really Kyle Bob says... GC, your internet seems good. Any UDFAs look good. Yeah, let's not jinx it. But I we I did get a, a new Xfinity router that's more powerful, so hopefully that should help. Any UDFAs look good? I'm curious about Cody Schrader, the running back. He caught a swing pass. I don't know. I want to. I, I thought he he's interesting, but like, so Mason Pline, the tight end, and Cody Schrader each caught a pass. Mason Pline caught the first pa pass of practice. Schrader caught the third one. They're interesting. Those two, they have some uh, potential. Other than them, I wasn't super impressed with Tanner Mordecai, and the other guys are like linemen, so I don't know. 